Assalamualaikum, I am Umi Shahida. In this video, I will talk about neutron diffractions. Enjoy! There are six contents. The first one is introductions, following to principle, instrumentations, type of scattering, advantages versus disadvantages, and summary. We go to the first one. First, introductions. What is diffraction? Diffraction is a phenomena that occurs when a wave encounters an optical. When a collimated beam of electron wave streaks pair of parallel lattice plans in a crystal, each atom acts as a scattering center and emits a secondary wave. All of the secondary waves interfere with each other to produce the diffracted beam. The first neutron diffraction experiment was in 1945 by Ernest Wooland using the graphite reactor. Along with school food so, they outline the principle of the technique. According to the Broglie theories, all particles are associated with wave characteristics. This wavelength is given by lambda equal to h over p, where lambda is the wavelength of the source, h is the Planck constant, and p is the momentum. The SI unit for wavelength is angstroms. Thermal neutrons from nuclear are switched for crystal structure studies. Neutrons are diffracted by crystal similar to X3. Definitions of neutron diffractions is the applications of neutron scattering to the determinations of the atomic structures of the material. When a beam of neutrons emitting from a reactor is slowed down and selected properly by their speed, their wavelength lies near 1 m strong, 0.1 nanometers. The typical separations between Atoms in a solid material such a beam can then be used to perform a diffraction experiment. Bragg's Law of Diffractions The measurement principle of neutron diffraction is based on Bragg equations. Look at this figure. The incident beam, the diffracted beam, and the normal plan to diffraction need to line in the same geometric Plan. The angle at which the incident beam forms when it hits the plane of the crystal and it's reflected at the same angle is called as 2 theta. Bragg's law is mathematically expressed as n lambda equal to 2n sin theta, where n is the integer order of reflections, lambda is the wavelength, and d is the plane spacing. This is the instrumentation for neutron diffractions. It consists mainly of the neutron source monochromator and detector. Neutron source uh, here is of course to produce neutron. Monochromator source of the string wavelength. Diffractometer allows neutron to interact with sample and detector is to pick up neutron scattered from the sample. How the instrument working? The technique required a source of neutron. Neutrons are usually produced in a nuclear reactor or spallation source. The source of neutron passes through the monochromator and the mono monochromalized beam is subjected to fall on the diffractometer. Filters are also used to select desired neutron wavelength. The sample is placed within a neutron beam and the angle at which the neutron are deflected or scattered by the material are recorded to generate a diffraction pattern from which structural information can be extracted. Simple requirement. Single crystal work is also possible, but the crystal must be larger than those that are used in single crystal, which X-ray crystallography. There are two types of scattering. The first one is nuclear scattering, and the second one is magnetic scattering. Nuclear scattering. One of the greatest features of neutron scattering is that neutrons are scattered by every single atomic nucleus. In addition, neutrons can be scattered by the magnetic movement of the atom. This figure shows how a neutron is scattered by the target when the incident beam hits it. The incident beam encounters the target and the scattered wave produced from the collisions detected by a detector at a defined position given by the angle pi, which are joined by d omega. In this scenario, they is assumed that there is no transverse energy between the nucleus of the atoms and the neutron ejected leads to an elastic scattering. The next one is the magnetic scattering. 
As previously mentioned, one of the greatest features about neutron diffraction is that the magnetic moment can interact either orbital or the spin magnetic moment of the material exam. Not all every single element in the periodic table can exhibit a magnetic moment. The only element that shows a magnetic moment are those which have unpaired electron spin. When neutron hit the solid, this produce a scattering from the magnetic moment vector as well as the scattering vector from the neutron itself. This figure shows the different vector produced when the incident beam hits the solid. When looking at the magnetic scattering, it needs to be considered coherent magnetic diffraction peaks where the magnetic contributions to the differential cross sections is P square Q square for an unpolarization incident beam. Therefore, the magnetic structure amplitude will be given by these equations where Pn is the magnetic scattering length and Qn is the magnetic interactions factor. The rest of the terms are used to know the positions of the atom in the unit cell. When this term Fmag is square, the result is the intensity of magnetic contributions from the peak and lies. These equations only applies to those element which have atoms that develop a magnetic moment. These are some of the advantages of neutron diffractions. The first one is mass. Neutron uh, momentum transfer around interatomic inter distance. The second one is spin. Polarization between neutron is possible. Zero charge, highly penetrating. Neutron can measure bulk properties and also benefit from large sample, extreme sample environment. Neutron can diffract in high or low temperature, in a magnetic field, and also pressure. Magnetic dipole moment. Neutron can interact with unpacked electron. Magnetic structure and spin excitations can be studied. This one is the disadvantages for neutron diffractions. Low brilliance of sources. Neutron has low intensity or resolutions, large samples, and statistical noise. Penetrating. Neutron had a background that hard to control and need large sample. Some elements such as boron, cadmium, goleninium is strongly absorbed and neutral. Neutron hard to manipulate, accelerate, and also detect. In summary, neutron diffraction is a great technique used for complete characterizations of molecule involving light elements and also very useful for the ones that have different isotope in the structure. In addition, due to the magnetic properties, there can be character characterized magnetic compound due to the magnetic movement that neutrons are developed. There are several disadvantages as well. One of the most critical is that neutron diffraction experiment needs a great amount of energy to produce large amount of neutron. The properties and advantages of this technique can greatly increase if some of the disadvantages are solved. For example, the study of molecule which exhibits some type of molecular force can be characterized. This will be because neutrons can precisely locate hydrogen atoms in a sample. Neutron have a give a better answer to the chemical interactions that are present in every single molecule, whereas X-ray help to give an idea of the uh, micromolecular structure of the samples being examined. That's all for me. Thank you.